Wave 1 Energon Edition, uh, it is our first super high quality premium product. Like, we do cool stuff, but we, we were looking for a way to push the boundaries of what our character cards could be. Um, and we were sitting around at this big brainstorming meeting, and someone was like, hey, what if we print the cards on plastic? And the room went quiet for about eight seconds as everybody's gears started spinning. And then it was like, yeah, we can do that. And then we spent a fair amount of time figuring out how to actually print cards on plastic. And Wizards had done this before for a game called Hecatomb, which was a long time ago. But we wanted to do it on a much uh, thicker, higher quality plastic. And we really wanted to take advantage of the fact that we were using a transparent plastic. So we redesigned the card frame so it's transparent, so you can see through the, the elements of the card frame. And we put this all together as a celebration of Wave 1, one year anniversary. And it has been so well received by fans. These cards are really spectacular. It comes with the first foil battle cards we've ever printed and a bunch of other goodies. And it's, it's been really, really uh, an amazing experience creating it and then also watching fans react to it. You think you might do some, some more of these type of uh, special uh, edition cards in the near future? Yes, but not too much. We don't want to overload uh, players with like a special thing every wave. We called it the Wave 1 Energon Edition, but that doesn't mean Wave 2 and Wave 3 and Wave 4 will get their own special editions. We might do this once a year. Um, this is more of like a holiday time thing and not, like, and not a, um, a regular part of our release product. Okay. However, we're going to try and find other cool ways to include plastic cards or foil battle cards uh, in Transformers, but we're going to do that at a low level that doesn't you know, break everybody's wallet. <laughs> So when you plan the next special set out, how, how will you pick the set to go for? Like for this one is wave one. Um, for, let's say if you do another one next year, do you might pick like the best of the waves or something? Maybe, maybe that's one way we can approach it. We're a little too early to start talking about that. But uh, you can imagine that it'll be the coolest cards from the last year. And we'll find a really, nice, a really fun way to celebrate those characters. Uh, but we're a year away from that. These sets are based on the toy line. Uh, this is the Siege series right now. Right. Um, Siege 1 and Siege 2 are based on the War for Cybertron Siege toy line that is just about wrapping up. Yeah. Now, there's also other um, branches of the Transformers universe. You have Robots in the Skies, Rescue Bots, uh, Cyberverse. Mm -hmm. um, is there any thought about um, maybe um, so, trying to gear like more of the younger audiences into TCG by uh, maybe uh, doing a special like a Rescue Bot set or a Cyberverse set or something like that? So. Uh, no, and the reason is Transformers TCG is very firmly in the Generations sub-brand of Transformers, and Generations is Siege, it's G1, it's G2, um, and that is where we will draw our inspiration from the Generations brand of toy lines. So a lot of the other sub-brands that you mentioned, like Cyberverse, uh, those are different sub-brands, and we're going we're gonna to stick towards um, the more adult fan collector interest, uh, like with Rise of the Combiners, we went all the way back to G1 and we pulled a bunch of combiners that had originally appeared, you know, 30 years ago as part of G1. But then we also went to uh, Combiner Wars, which was only a few years ago. And so we'll, we'll continue to do that. And it'll be a, we'll alternate. We'll do sets that are based on the current toy line, uh, the War for Cybertron line. And then we'll alternate that with what, with what we're calling throwback sets that will look back to the past toy lines for inspiration. Speaking of toy lines, um, it seems like a lot of sites have speculated about what the next sets will be mm -hmm. after Siege. Um, there's, uh, there's talk about Earthrise. Um, I've seen and a lot of people speculate about Earthrise. <laughs> so is it, would you say it's, it's wise to say that if people are trying to figure out what character cards are coming next, to look at the toy line and see what's coming out? That's always a good idea, but I can tell you that Wave 5, which is the first set in 2020, is a throwback set. So it's going to look back to the past of Transformers toy line for inspiration. And uh, it, yep, you heard it here. So speculate by on the characters by looking as to what Transformers has done in the past. And then we'll alternate with, uh, after Wave 5, the future will, will at some point we'll go back to a current toy line set, and we'll just we'll just swap back and forth. 
I'm sure you got a million, people have been asking you about Beast Wars or some other yep. stuff in previously. Yeah, there's a lot of people who, for Beast Wars is really interesting because for a lot of people, Beast Wars is Transformers. Because Beast Wars was the Transformers brands for a good number of years. Mm-hmm. So everybody who was raised, who grew up with Transformers at that time period, identifies with Beast Wars as the primary expression of Transformers. And we recognize that eventually there will be a Beast Wars set. Um, and it'll be very cool when we do it, but uh, that is a little bit in the future. I got a few questions about a pot, like if there's any possibility of a role-playing game coming out, being that... Oh, uh, like a, a tabletop role-playing game like Dungeons & Dragons? Yes. I have no idea. That would be, <laughs> that would be very interesting. So if, you're, if your fans are interested in a Transformers RPG, uh, have, let Hasbro know about that, because that sounds really cool. Is there an email they can reach out to? Uh, just go on social media and find the Hasbro account and let them know there. It's been talk online, you know, there's been certain cars that have been banned, certain cars have, that have been looked at because they're worried about um, cars are being abused a certain way. And, and, I, and I know some friends have asked us to ask about research and development. How does, how does that work exactly? Do you, when you make a set, do you, like, is there like at least like a few months of planning? Like, how does that work exactly? So we work about 18 months ahead of time. So before a set's released, we've been working for over a year. And um, we, our philosophy for approaching TCG design for Transformers is to create a bunch of really interesting tools. And we do a lot of testing on that, but we're getting to the point where the matrix is so big. Like the number of combinations of possible cards is so large that it, it's close to mathematically impossible to test all combinations. So that's what the skill of a game designer comes in. And every once in a while, uh, we don't find a combination, but the crowd, the fans, because there's so many fans testing so many different combinations, will find something. And our philosophy is to, to step in and correct the metagame if something gets out, is a little out of whack. And recently there were some combo decks that were all powered by an engine that drew a lot of cards and played a lot of upgrades and then used a couple of cards to swap back and forth between playing upgrades and playing actions. That, could, that got a little bit out of hand and outside of what we want the TCG to, TCG play to be like. So when that happens, we step in and we did ban a card. We actually banned the card that allowed you, multi-mission gear allowed you to change upgrade plays back into action plays. And that allowed you to continuously chain this off. So now you can play a lot of cards in sequence. You can do, do a nice chain, but it doesn't go infinite. Yeah. Not in that way. Yeah. We, want, we want combo to exist, but we want it to be a little bit slower. Combo is a, decks are a fantastic release valve against decks that get too defensive. A deck that sits back and says, I'm not going to do anything, I'm not going to let you do anything, and eventually I will win by like playing a Plasma Burst over and over again, over many, many turns. If, they can, if defense decks can overpower aggro decks that way, combo decks are the release valve, because the combo deck says, I'm not playing the game you're playing. I'm not trying to damage you in this way. You're going to take 30 turns to win? Great. I'll take seven, and you can't stop me. But then the aggro deck comes in and says, oh, combo deck, you're going to take seven turns to win? I'll beat you in three. And then that that rock, paper, scissors metagame keeps everything stable and gives us the design space to design a lot of cool cards and a lot of really interesting cards without it having to always be a race between better offense cards and better defense cards. So Magic the Gathering tends to uh, encourage special theme decks, like an elf deck, mm-hmm. uh, a knight deck, and so forth. And I've noticed with Transformers the card game, um, there's, uh, we have like one boat so far, uh, Sea Watch, mm-hmm. um, and uh, we saw, see now a text flavor for helicopters. Uh, is that what you think Transformers the card game wants to do more of, more like these yes. theme decks? We definitely are going to be doing more of that. Um, and you see some of that, uh, some, some teams are, are well supported, like trucks and cars and planes and tanks. And those were the first four that we started with. And we've been slowly adding in others. Uh, helicopter support is growing with Siege with Siege 2. We had a couple of helicopters and helicopter support cards. And you're going to see that uh, develop over time. Um, there aren't a ton of boats in the Transformers universe. Uh, notably, we haven't printed Sea Spray yet who I think as a hovercraft, hovercraft will count as boats for us. Um, uh, there's uh, a few other characters, so there will be some boat support, but there just aren't a ton of boat Transformers characters. Um, 
Motorcycles, there are several of, and you'll see a little bit more motorcycle team support over the next several sets. Um, and then there's a lot of, of sort of one-off weird. Um, there are a few characters who transform, convert into trains. Are we going to support trains in the same way? Probably not. You might see one or two cards. So we're going to keep, for the next year or so, the main four tribes. Planes, trucks, cars, tanks. And continue to support those. Give some additional support to some of those second tier tribes. And then develop it out that way. Is there a card, a carrot card, or maybe it's a battle card that you're surprised it hasn't got as much attention as it should yet? Yeah. In general, there's a whole lot of cards that um, interact with your opponent's hand. Um, things like uh, disruptive entrance. And I'm a little bit surprised that more players haven't included them in their deck, those card types of cards, because it, they are generally good. Um, fans have done have really gravitated towards secret actions via shockwave, and secret actions really have kind of transformed how people play Transformers. They allow for off-turn interaction, so we're really happy to see players um, include those in their decks. And I would be really surprised if after this event, um, players st still don't use the hand interaction cards, because I think there's a, a bunch of people here who are going to be playing that tech. So is there anything else um, coming out that we should be aware of? Anything we should keep our eyes and ears open for? So we're going to start talking about Wave 5 towards the end of 2019. Uh, that'll be our first set in 2020. Um, so keep your eyes out towards the very end of this year for some teases of Wave 5. Well, thank you very much. Um, we're very excited. Uh, I can't wait to see how this tournament plays out. Hopefully my guys will win, but we'll see. <laughs> well, they, there's 158 competitors. Uh, they are the best tra uh, Transformers TCG players. We're going to figure out who's the best of the best today. Uh, and uh, there's some really awesome prizes. There's Energon editions. Uh, we have uh, the top eight are going to get, um, top four are getting the titan size Omega Supreme toy. Yes. Um, there's jet fires we've got, and then the, the grand prize winner um, is going to uh, be able to work with us to create a new Transformers TCG card. Excellent. And if you have any questions you would like to ask uh, Drew in the future, please let us know in the comments below. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you for your questions. I love answering questions. Keep sending them. And we'll be back. <laughs>